What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we are talking about the fight between Sue Madareji versus Malcolm Gordon. Very fun fight between these two. Exciting matchup um, between two overall solid mixed martial artists. Had good careers outside of the UFC. Uh, for Mataraji, though, he is coming off a very impressive win over Andre Sukmath. For Malcolm X Gordon, he is taking a uh, loss in his last fight against Amir Albazi, who, who's an exciting prospect. Um, now, in this matchup here, you have... Su Mataraji, uh, he has a very good striking style, extremely good with his range control, seems to have a bit of a traditionalist martial arts background, very nice with his kicks, um, moves and glides out of range, honestly, very high level footwork, um, and he makes it look beautiful in there. Now, as far as Malcolm Gordon, Thai style striker, a guy definitely with decent hands and does have a bit of knockout power, especially in his right hand. But where he's underrated is going to be the grappling. You have a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt here with Malcolm Gordon. From what I've seen of Su Mataraji, he has been out grappled in the past and he has been submitted. As far as betting odds go, Mataraji is a massive minus 335 favorite. You're looking at Malcolm Gordon at a plus 265 underdog. Luis Smolka was able to submit Sue. Um, I know Sue had a loss outside of the octagon. The opponent, I can't exactly remember, so I will quickly look it up because I do want to let you guys know. So there's possibility here of a serious upset. Um, you know, as far as betting odds have it, obviously, Matarej is a massive favorite. He looked very good in that win. He's very young, only 24. Lost to Hale Bin Ma, who was 11 and 4. He lost by submission um, in round two. And that was actually his fight right before he got into the UFC in 2018. Hasn't been super active, hasn't fought since 2019 for Malcolm Gordon, as I mentioned, coming off the fight against Amir Al Bazi. I think we're going to see an upset here from Malcolm Gordon. He's only 30. He's not like he's really an aging guy. He's still in his prime. I think he has a ton of tools. As as far as height goes, yes, he is an inch shorter at 5'7". Um, he has a 70-inch reach. I don't think it's significant enough to cause supreme problems as far as the, the punches, but I will say the kicking game of Sue is very dangerous. But I think we're going to see Malcolm Gordon have a very smart game plan, get this fight to the mat. I'm predicting submission round two for Malcolm Gordon. I think he gets the upset here. Wouldn't be shocked to see it go the other way, but I am riding with the underdog in this matchup. That is my prediction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like subscribe turn on those post notifications also guys follow my social media instagram twitter and if you guys are looking to place bets hit my link for my bookie in the description it definitely helps out the channel and i would really appreciate it if you guys are considering signing up uh, for my bookie to at least use my link and support the page thank you all so much and i'll see you in the next video